but let's take a look at importing each layer to a new sketch. I'll open the DXF and DWG import wizard by dragging and dropping this DWG file directly into SOLIDWORKS. When you do, you can see a preview of the 2D file, along with some basic zoom controls. You can also zoom in and out of the preview with the middle mouse wheel, and pan with the left mouse button. This checkbox lets you toggle between black and white backgrounds in the preview. Now, like we saw before, the first thing I'll do here is specify the units. You can choose one of the unit types from the drop-down menu. You also have the option to include any constraints, or snaps, as they're commonly referred to in 2D, along with the dimensions. I'll activate both of these checkboxes so the file comes in already fully constrained. Since DXF and DWG files often contain many layers, you can choose whether you'd like to import all the layers, or only select a few layers to import. I'll use the Selected Layers option, and turn off the Title Block layer. Also, notice this very important option here. Import each layer into a new sketch. If you're importing the 2D file into an existing part, this option will be grayed out and unavailable. I'll activate it so that the wizard creates individual sketches for each layer, instead of importing them all into a single sketch. Now, I can click Next. Again, like we saw earlier, I can choose to merge points that are closer than a certain tolerance to prevent gaps. I'll activate this and set the value to 1,000th. I'll also activate the Merge Overlapping Entities checkbox to avoid duplicate sketch points. You can also have SOLIDWORKS automatically run the Repair Sketch tool after the import to help identify any gaps or overlap errors that the wizard may have missed. I'll activate this as well. Next, you can define the sketch origin. By default, it's at the 0, 0 point as defined in the 2D file. But if you need to change it, click the Define Sketch Origin button and either enter a value into the field or click in the preview window where you'd like to locate the origin. You can activate the Rotate About Origin checkbox to rotate the geometry, but I'll leave this cleared. Finally, if there's any additional elements you'd like to exclude from the import, click the Elements in the preview window. Use the Control key to select multiple elements at once. And then click the Remove Entities button. When you're done, click Finish, and the wizard imports the DXF or DWG into SOLIDWORKS sketches. If there are any errors, the Repair Sketch Wizard will find them for you, and you can go on correcting them manually from here. There are a couple of options I skipped over earlier when importing a DXF or DWG to a part that I'd like to quickly show you now. You can import a DXF or DWG to an existing part. Here, I have a SOLIDWORKS part file open. To import a DXF or DWG into this existing part, first, pre-select a plane or face that you'd like to import the 2D geometry onto. Then, go to Insert, DXF, slash DWG. This brings up a browse window where you can search for your file. Again, once you've found it, you might have to adjust the file type drop-down menu if you're having trouble finding the file you're looking for. Click Open to launch the import wizard. Now, this can be a real time saver. Also, one trick before wrapping up. If you need to change the plane that any of the sketches were imported onto, you can click on the sketch in the Feature Manager tree and select the Edit Sketch Plane icon. From here, you can choose a new plane or face, if there's one available, and the sketch will be reoriented as soon as you click the green check.